Magandang araw sa inyong lahat mga kabayan at palikbayan. You are watching Jamie Iris Talk TV kung saan sasagutin na naman po natin ang inyong katanungan sa another episode po natin ng Sagot sa iyong katanungan, aking mga kabayan. Atin pong basahin ang ilang mga katanungan ninyo na iniwan sa aking comment box regarding travel. Kung kayo pa uwi na ng Pilipinas ay naku alam ko napaka-excited nyo na. Pero before that, nais ko munang batiin ang lahat po ng ating mga viewers na si Jeneline Vega. Sabi niya, thank you and you are most welcome, Jeneline. Mula naman kay Akiyama, Australia. Sabi niya, good day po, Ma'am Jamie. Salamat sa mga updates. God bless. You are most welcome, Akiyama. May God bless you too. From Maricel Caniete, sabi niya, thank you po, Ma'am, sa update. Sana wag naman pa puro pagbabago kasi ang hirap. God bless po. Watching from Hong Kong. Naku, I do hope, Maricel, nga less na ang changes. From From Anneli Letrada, hi Miss Jamie, I'm watching from Saudi Arabia. From Vicky McNally, Miss Jamie, thank you. Uh, thank you for updating us. You're the best. Hi Anneli and Vicky, you are both most welcome and thank you so much for always watching. And then from Darren Dobson, sabi niya, Tamsak, replay. Salamat po for the info. You're most welcome, Darren. Ayan. Sa inyong lahat, may God bless you and thank you for always watching. At para naman sa ating unang katanungan, sabi ni Nawera Pam Nagun, Ma'am Jamie, totoo ba na pati fully vaccinated at one booster na mag-PCR at antigen test? Uh, din po, di po ba pakilinaw na lang kasi naguguluhan kami. Uh, so far sa ngayon naman, walang announcement na changes or update regarding this. I just checked the One Health Pass at pareho pa rin naman yung kanilang rules in terms of sino bang kinakailangan magpa-swap test at sino ang exempted. Sa One Health Pass, nakalagay pa rin na ang mga exempted, i-discuss natin yan mamaya. So, same pa rin kung ikaw ay may booster at fully vaccinated, ikaw ay exempted. So, mamaya in details, i-discuss ko siya para makita ninyo. Sagutin ko muna ang tanong ni Virginia Katsumaka. Sabi niya, good morning, Miss Jamie. Mandatory na daw po ba ulit ang pre-departure PCR test sa lahat? Uwi po kasi ulit ako sa 26. I'm always watching sa mga updates ninyo kasi pabago-bago ang requirements. Salamat po. Wait ko po reply nyo. Tama ka naman dyan, Virginia. Andyan yung pabago-bago sometimes yung requirements at gayon din yung mga uh, sa forms natin, sa online form. Ito yung latest na nakita ko sa One Health Pass. So, uh, similar pa rin naman siya as of the last uh, week na meron tayo. So, sabi dito, the following international travelers bound to the Philippines are no longer required to undergo the facility-based quarantine and are exempted from presenting the pre-departure COVID-19 negative test result, yung RT-PCR or antigen test as per the IATF resolution number 168, effective May 30, 200. 2022. So, wala pa namang mas latest dito na binabago sila kasi automatically dapat updated din po yung one half pass. So, ang exempted pa rin po ay ang mga sumusunod. Kung ikaw ay fully vaccinated, foreigner or Filipino nationals with booster shot, ayan ay at ikaw ay for 18 years old above, so exempted ka. Kung ikaw ay foreign Filipino, kung ikaw ay foreign national or Filipino minors, age 12 to 17 years old and are fully vaccinated at dapat po ha, accompanied by fully vaccinated and boosted parents or guardians, exempted din po yan. At pangatlo, foreign or Filipino minors, age below 12 years old, regardless of the vaccination status, who are accompanied by... Ayan, fully vaccinated with boosted parent or guardians, kailangan po ay may kasamang guardians pa uwi, so yaan po ay exempted. So similar pa rin naman po. Kung sakasakaling may pagbabago, ibibigay ko pong information sa inyo. Ayan. So, yan po ang update natin. For Nestor Almanzon naman, sabi niya, I'm traveling on July 19, 2022 with QR code. Do I need a COVID-19 result certificate in Tokyo layover? Ako nasa 3 hours Tokyo. Thank you, Miss Jamie. Hi, Nestor. Kamusta na? Kamusta ang biyahe mo? Na-delay ako ng one day to reply to you. Hindi na kinakailangan ng uh, negative result certificate sa Tokyo kung ikaw naman ay fully vaccinated at may booster. Let us know, kamusta ba yung iyong travel, arrival journey from your point of origin through Japan and to the Philippines. God bless you and enjoy your vacation, Nestor. 
from Dina Valencia. Sabi niya, hi po, Miss Jamie, alam niyo po ba kung need pa i-translate sa Japanese ang PCR test pagbalik ng Japan? Salamat po and God bless you always. Tingnan natin sa Philippine Airlines kung naka-indicate ba na kailangan naka-translate in English or okay na ito. So from the Philippine Airlines, sabi dito, if you'll be traveling from the Philippines to Japan, Haneda, Narita, Nagoya, Kansai, Fukuoka, or Chitose. Ayan. So uh, dito, sa medical requirements, kinakailangan ng negative COVID-19 test, RT-PCR result valid within 72 hours prior to departure at certificate of inspection or certificate of testing for COVID-19 within 72 hours prior to departure. If a passenger is unable to submit the certificate, they will no, not be allowed to enter in Japan based on quarantine law. So at this point in time, wala naman wala silang nabanggit na kailangan in English trans or in Japanese translation. I think English will be okay uh, dahil wala naman po silang nabanggit dito. And you can just simply take a look what are the other travel requirements. Ayan po. So looking forward that you'll have a great and pleasant flight papunta at pabalik sa Japan and enjoy the rest and the remaining days na meron ka for your vacation. From lover JM, sabi niya, Hi Ma'am Jamie, tanong ko lang po sa July 27 po flight ko sa anong araw po ako pwedeng gumawa ng one half pass at may fully vaccinated uh, na po ako at one booster shot. Salamat po. Sana masagot mo. Hi lover JM. So 72 hours hours before your flight kung ikaw ay fully vaccinated at my booster pwede ka na mag-register so that means 27 minus 3 nasa kahit 24 pwede ka na uh, magpa-register ayan so ingat ingat sa iyong flight Mula kay Dennis Flores, sabi naman niya, Ma'am, allow po basahan carry yung drone galing Amerika pa uwi po ng Pilipinas. Hi Dennis, well in general naman, inaallow na magdala ng drone sa hand carry. Uh, para kasi sensitive kasi syempre yung drone when it comes to kung ipapasok mo siya sa Uh, sa check-in baggage, uh, iniiwasan nating masira yan. Pero just double check na rin sa iyong, uh, again, airlines mismo, just in case may specific handling sila na nire-require. Pero in general, as I checked, allowed naman yan. Pero may kanya-kanya nga lang special ruling per airlines. Ayan. And then from Adoracion Bautista, sabi niya, how about if the size exceeded by inch? Do they include the retracted handle? Uh, thank you. Hi, Adoracion. Are you talking about the luggage itself? So again, uh, depende kung gano'ng kalaki at paano nag-exceed yung luggage. So kung sakasakaling napakalaki talaga from the prescribed size, maaring mai-include ang iyong bagay sa oversized baggage. Ngayon, yon may sukat ito kung saan na tinitingnan nila at kung sisingilin ka ng extra dahil ito ay sumopra sa prescribed na bilang ng measurement nila, then they will tell you about it. Yung retracted handle, since pasok naman siya dun sa mismong bag, so hindi na naman nabibilang yon So ang tinitingnan nila is the full size of the luggage naman. Yan. So, ingat kayo sa inyong pag-uwi, Dennis, and adorasyon. So, with that, mga kabayan, yan po ang inyong mga katanungan at looking forward na katulong po ang ating kasagutan. So, kung hindi pa po kayo nakakapag-subscribe sa aking channel, kayo po ay inaanyayahan ko na to click subscribe. And at the same time, click nyo na rin po yung notification bell nang sa gayon ay ma-update kayo ng everyday ng ating mga videos. At if you find this video helpful and informative, please click like and gayon din po mga kabayan ingat po kayo palagi lalo na po yung mga magbabiyahe po papunta ng Pilipinas may God bless you and have a pleasant flight at saan lang po tayong dako ng mundo taas noo tayo po ay mga Filipino and sa lahat ng mga kabayan at balikbayan na sa Pilipinas have a great time and enjoy your vacation with your family God bless you all see you in my next video thank you for watching